All right, Bobby. What I'm doing here is this case lube. I'm just running it on one finger and I just kind of spin it in my hand, put it in my loading tool just like you did, and whack it. And that sucker goes straight in one time without a lot of beating on it. Drive it back out. And there she is. And the only thing I'm doing other than that is because I don't want gunpowder sticking to anything. I'm wiping the case back off a little lube, but it's just a finger swipe is all I'm doing. I'll do it one more time here. Just a little bit like that. Pick up my case between my thumb and forefinger. I just kind of spin it and I can see the lubricant on the case a little bit. Put it in my tool and then drive it straight down one time. This probably would have helped you a little bit when you were loading yours. Yours is a short case to begin with, and that would have helped you a lot. Now, I'm gonna do the case mouth expanding step. Gives you a little tool to flare the case mouth out just enough to accept a bullet. You have to do this with your straight wall cases like 38 Special, 357, and whatnot. I'm just gonna do a couple of them. And it does a nice job. does the trick. Expands the case mouth exactly where you want it. On your 9mm bob, you had to chamfer the inside of the case to accept a bullet. That's why this kind of little addition was not with your kit. Do one more here. All right, Bob, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my cases using one of them tools, just because I have it. This came with my kit, my bench mounting kit, and I'm gonna prime my cases for this. This is, again, another suggested thing for you to expedite your priming, and that way you're not beating on them and stuff one at a time. All the primers fit inside here. They're flipped correct way up, and they slide into the little, uh, a little port here. They face anvil up, you slide your case inside, squeeze the handle, and as you can see, your primer is in there nice and flush. All right, another primer is already slid into position. I'm gonna do another case, squeeze, there she is, nice and pretty. And we're gonna do a couple more here and just show you how quick this can be. So Lee makes one. This came with my kit and it's going to be a little more pricey, but Lee makes one. Does the exact same damn thing for like $20. And definitely makes the reloading a little more a little easier to do. I felt that one start to bind a little bit. I'm gonna do one more. What it was, it wasn't completely centered in the thing. And there you have it. I just did a bunch of cases and the amount of time it took you to beat the hell out of them. All right, the powder charging is gonna go about like the way yours did. Take a case, set it in your chamber, but I'm gonna use this as my funnel because I don't have a funnel like you do, but it's supposed to work the same way. Use the tool where it has its own funnel. Take my bullet, set it down inside. The 
Here it goes. Set my seating tool on it. Already pre-adjusted just like yours. A couple good wax right there and it seats the bullet. And voila, it's right on the cantalure, which is these markings right on the, uh, in the middle of the bullet and that's for the brass to crimp on it when I get to that phase of it. Let me do one more here. Put my case, set that down inside. Get a powder. It's the same powder charge yours is, Bob. It was uh, 0.5 cc's. Making kind of a mess here. I haven't got this steps down perfectly yet, but uh, we're getting there. Hold that in there. Seat her right in. Now these probably are starting a little easier because I expanded the case mouth differently than you do with yours. Alrighty, the final stage to all this is crimping. And I take the reversal of the tool, the concave area where I poured the powder down, turn it upside down, I keep I use my uh, chamber here, set the case down in that, put this over the top, and I'm just going to put a light crimp around that cantalore where it'll hold the bullet in place during recoil when the weapon's firing. You can feel it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah that's nice. Very nice. It'll also help give you a more consistent pressure when the weapon's firing. Very simple little tool here that's so ingeniously conceived and executed. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'll do a couple more here, Bob. And since brass is so malleable, you don't have to beat the hell out of it. Nice. All right, buddy, I'm gonna finish these up and uh, I'm gonna get to boxing them. All right, and now finally, I'm gonna box up my ammo. And I bought these things. It says 357 Magnum, but 38 Special also fit these things. And they give you uh, labels to print up to where you can put your load data and that and uh, put the actual caliber you're loading like 38 special in this case all right so let me go ahead and fold the box up and it's not the trickiest thing in the world you just this side one way okay and then load that side that way fold it in fold that in fold that in there there there, there, and there. Okay, now your box is ready to receive your bullets and they give you a loading tray to arrange your bullets in specific order. These are different than the 45 I loaded in that these alternate. 45, you can load them all one direction. So I'm gonna start with the cases. They're gonna go up facing up. Cases this way, 
on these on these areas. And I like the little cardboard boxes as opposed to reusing old boxes and stuff because it you know the old boxes start to fall apart after a while and they look like hell. These I can mark with all my load data. And they pack well in ammo cans, which is ultimately how I like. I don't like loose rounds in an ammo can because I'd rather just take out what I need at any time I'm going to go to the range if I know I'm going to shoot just a couple hundred rounds or so. All right. And you take your box. Lay that over the top of this like that. And then you flip it upside down. And voila. They're in there. These fold in over the top like this. Such like that. And then these fold over here. And it does create a more professional look to your ammunition. And there we are. 38 special, 50 rounds, all hand loaded, boxed up, ready to go to the range.